Uh, namaskar i am very happy to welcome all of you to this uh, webinar which is organized by the literary and cultural forum under all india women's conference trivandrum main branch uh, this is a webinar dedicated to the gurus so it is very apt that uh, we start with uh, guru vandana Uh, this is by Lakshmi Nandakumar from uh, Subarna, which is the Calicut branch of All India Women's Conference. Thank you, Lakshmi, and uh, thank you, Bhuvne Shuri, for sharing that audio. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is under the uh, Literary and Cultural Forum of All India Women's Conference, Trivandrum Main Branch. Uh, Dr. Jamila, who is the uh, director of the forum, has been organizing these talks for the past uh, 22 months. uh unfortunately though she is back from the us she is she is not able to join us right now she has been called for an urgent meeting to the university but uh, she has uh, uh, she said she'll join as soon as uh, the meeting is over so we expect her to uh, join a little later uh the, this uh, webinar we are dedicating to the gurus and we are very fortunate to have Dr. Sri Devi with us. Uh, she is a, a very apt person for uh, this webinar. Uh, she is a teacher herself. She has been a teacher for many decades, and uh, she was uh, heading the uh, teachers' training college in Trivandrum when she retired. And she continues to uh, have uh, uh, webinars and uh, online sessions, and uh, she is very active still. in uh, uh, online classes and helping teachers teacher educators educational administrators and policy makers uh, she started as a high school teacher and uh, moved on to be a lecturer in victoria college in palakkad uh, later she joined the government training college and as i mentioned earlier went on to become the head of that uh, organization retired as principal of the 
uh, Government College for Teacher Education. Uh, she has uh, authored five books and has won several awards, including the Best Children's Literature Award, Best Short Story Award, and many more. And uh, she mentioned to me that right now she is uh, uh, writing her autobiography. I'm sure uh, we'll all be looking forward to that and uh, to see her uh, uh, very varied experiences and her uh, uh, whatever remarkable work that she has done as a teacher, as a teacher educator, as an administrator in the education uh, field. Uh, so I extend a very warm welcome to her. And uh, I can say that uh, at least from uh, those of us uh, from Trivandrum and Kerala, uh, she is almost like a family member because two of her older sisters uh, uh, Shanda Gumari teacher and uh, uh, Savitri teacher. We, uh, many of us are their students. Both of them were professors of English uh, in various government colleges in Kerala. And uh, she is the sister of uh, these two uh, excellent teachers. So I uh, extend to you, madam, a very warm welcome and uh, welcome you into the All India Women's Conference uh, family. So I'd uh, over to you now to start your uh, talk. Thank you. I was thinking actually, when the prayer started, the three stanzas of the prayer is all that I want to elaborate because that gives the prayer, tells us. It's not exactly uh, what gurus are, but it, this is what is uh, the Bharatiya concept of a guru, a perfect one. Guru is actually a complete one because of his weight, gurutva, Gurutva actually means uh, the solidness or the, the weight or whatever he has uh, imbibed, imbibed. So just as we say, he's a, a treasure house. So the prayer tells us that he's like Akhanda Mandalagaram Vyaptam Yena Charajaram. That's also true. That's also true in the sense that uh, you just cannot say all these things, but the concept of the uh, Indian guru or the Bharatiya guru, the concept has to be actually digested by the shishyas. And also, as the third stanza tells you, Ajnana Timirandhasya, what is his duty? The guru, what does he do? Ajnana timirandhasya, jnana anjana shalakaya, chakshurunmi lidam yena, tasmai shri guravena. He is the one with a dedication, with a, with a will to take away all the ajnanas. Ajnanam is exactly the opposite of jnanam, true knowledge, true knowledge. But Everybody is not with true knowledge of anything. So what our gurus do, they come in between. Or then they take away, just as Jesus or other uh, gods, they take away the sins of their dear ones. Just like that, he, uh, the personality or more correctly, uh, a guru actually is a concept. A concept is slightly different from the personality or the character or the man or the woman that he or she is. Different in the sense that uh, they merge with each other. The concept merges with the person so that everybody, the shishyas or the attenders, and dependence, everybody feels that he is somebody big. He is somebody uh, guru, guru. Guru actually is 
a, a concentrated sort of a solid thing in Sanskrit. Purnada Gauravaya. He becomes a complete person using his Gaurava. Gaurava is the bhava with which silly things just run away from you and every solid matter, they do come to you. And the gurus, they have a choice or a selection, taking whatever is essential. That is the duty of the guru. That is why he is called a guru. Just as against a leku. A leku is exactly the opposite of a guru. Every time I teach poems and the vrittas, what happens is that I ask my children, students in the high school or in, in the college or in the B.A. college to find out the gurus in it and the lekus in it. But lekus are also wanted. Lekus are all needed. Needed. Using one or two lekus at times, the guru becomes fuller, 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 like the full moon. That is it. So Guru Pournami is actually a Pournami which tells us that he has become fuller, fuller and the fullest. So the Hindu concept of Guru, actually, we'll have to go to find out the details of it to our Puranas and exactly the Vedas and the Upanishads. I hope uh, some of you, most of you are concerned and you are uh, conscious of what exactly is uh, Gurutvam or Guru. Anything that is, uh, that is not perishable. Physically, a body may perish, but just as you said, my sisters and many other teachers who have gone, as we say, they live in our memory. We think of them, think of them at their best. I think of all my teachers from the lower primary classes towards my master's degree in Malayalam, master's in English, and the B.Ed. and the M.Ed. and the Ph.D. guide and many other who do not have master's degrees from a university. But my mother was a treasure house of wisdom. My Amuma, mother's mother, she was also a treasure house. So we have a term in Malayalam, Guru Sthaniya. By status, they could be gurus also. I really, I'm thankful that my mother was a Miss Baker student and she admired and worshipped her madama, as she said. Miss Baker was the principal and Miss Baker was her teacher. And my mother was so attracted towards Miss Baker, her teacher. She once said, uh, She wouldn't say Thames. Thames is not the correct pronunciation. Enda madama varayinadhu Thames. So take it from her, Thames. The H is silent, she said. So I was, it was slightly funny, but my mother used to correct me every time I said Thomas Jet and Thomas Sri Devi, it's not Thomas, it is Thomas. So I think of my mother also as a teacher. My father was a teacher, he was an advocate though. So most of the people in my family and the schools and the colleges I studied. I remember them always as my great teachers. They are masters. A guru is not a lesser person. A teacher perhaps may be slightly a lesser person. Lesser in the sense not uh, physically or psychologically. By status, by status a master or a guru can afford to be higher higher than a teacher. I've analyzed teaching as a profession and I've understood what exactly is uh, the notation towards the guru or the gurutva. 
thing is, as the Upanishad tells us, a guru is always sitting, not seated. He is sitting. Wherever he sits, what happens is only other people, they can sit slightly lower. They have to. They do that. They practice that. So what happens is they are all very close to him. Upanishad means I am sitting close to you. I am with you. Like that. So our Vedas and Upanishads, they give us a guideline of how ideally a child is initiated to know, knowing and knowledge. It's a very uh, pious and spiritual thing. A child has to be in the safe hands of the gurus. A teacher actually is slightly lesser guru in the sense that the teacher gives real lessons and lesson plans and uh, practices and the pedagogy. The pedagogue happens to be a teacher, but the gurus are not pedagogues. They are not. Because pedagogy is the practical application of the tattvas or the principles. If you say that there is a, a tattva, uh, a, a strilingam has to be uh, lila with a long word, lila. That is a principle. But for the pulingam, this is different. Ryama sabdam is not that long, things like that. These are things the gurus know, but they don't have to bother to teach them that because they practically pronounce these things, practically verbalize these things. They practically sing or chant or recite these things. They are personification, so they do that. But teachers actually, they are a second sex in the sense that they are very close to the students. And if it's a mother or the father or the real teacher in a school, what happens is the teachers, they have a business to see to it that or the syllabus has to be covered. The syllabus plus perhaps the content area, which is hidden, value-based sometimes, it's hidden. We have a curriculum which is named as hidden curriculum. Adrishya Patya Paddhati, we call it in Malayalam. Adrishyam in the sense that it's always there. It's there. But one who is competent to see it, one who is competent to find out, one who is competent to discover it, discover it, he happens to be a pedagogue. So, uh, pe I'm sorry, I must say, I was dealing with this business of pedagogy for 20 years that I can find God in pedagog pedagogy. Whenever I read anything, I find out, I try to discover the content uh, in a pedagogical manner. So what happens is that when a song is sung or when the prayers are offered, anything like that, even for the belly, after death ritual of belly, when a, a pujari tells me, Narmatha Sindhu Kodhavari, I'm disturbed. It has to be pronounced in the right way as Narmada, Sindhu, Godavari. It's all Mridus. But he may be under the impression that the more stress he gives to them, uh, the more the spiritual things come out, something like that. So I, I tell myself, Sridevi, this is Sindhu, Narmada, Godavari, like that. Uh, that's because I'm a teacher and I'm a pedagogue. Uh, and my business was, when I was teaching in the high school, I always knew what my girls, because I was teaching 
uh, in a girls' high school. They knew, I knew what they really want to know, what they don't have to. Sometimes there are uh, lessons and concepts in the lessons which, for which they are not mentally mature, mature enough. There may be. So sometimes I skip over, I skip over sometimes. But what happens is that when I tell them the things that they should, I call it a pedagogy. Sometimes people say pedagogy also. I don't know which is which, but I use pedagogy as well as pedagogy. Anyway, that is the business of a teacher. Whereas the concept of pedagogy, that is the business. That concept, how to uh, let it down to the student, shishyas, is the job of the guru. And we have a, a, another uh, prayer of the gurus. That is, uh, Chitram Vadadaror Mule. Look at that. There's a picture. Chitram Vadadaror Mule. Beneath, underneath a tree. Vadavriksham is actually the Benyan tree. You can see that. Chitram Vadadaror Mule. Vridha Shishya Guru Yuva. Vridha Shishya means all the learners, students, they are old. Not physically, but they are old with the enquire, inquiry knowledge. They want to learn. They want to understand. They want to comprehend many things. They want to clear their doubts. So they have come. They are physically young, but they have the sure resources with them so that they look old, seemingly old. Vridha Shishya, Guru Yuva. And what happens to the Guru? The picture. The Guru happens to be Yuva. He is a youthful one, young one, not the old one. Why? If they are all old enough with their knowledge, this Guru should be old enough. But he is renovating every time the energy, passing it out to those who really want it. So what happens is he never grows old. It's like uh, you, you give, you give, and then there is space for him to be youthful. Guru, you are. Next, the way he teaches, the mode of transaction, that's wonderfully said as Gurus to Maunam Vyakyanam, Shishyas to Chinna Samshaya, Gurus to Guru Arte, the teacher or the Guru, the master. Maunam Vyakyanam, he is explaining and interpreting things using his Maunam. Maunam is in one level. Uh, what we understand it as silence. Silence or contemplating on something, that's maunam. But this maunam is different. Guru, Munir Bhava is maunam. Because he is a guru, he is a muni, maybe. So what happens is, gurus to maunam vyakyanam. He doesn't have to. The guru is keeping quiet because he doesn't have to talk. He's contemplating, and his shishyas know that. Shishyas to chinna samshya. They also are, they are also silent. But through the silence, they do understand what exactly the guru wanted them to get out of his knowledge. It's a beautiful thing. This is actually what is happening when perhaps Christ and his shishyas they sit together. Or sometimes uh, I was thinking about Sri Ramakrishna. Sri Ramakrishna sometimes keep quiet. But that quietness passes on to his shishyas, like Swami Vivekananda. So what I have found in my teachers is sometimes... One of my teachers, I always worship him as a god, Dr. Vedamani Manuel. He's a typical 
Tamilian Guru. So close to you that you can touch him if you want. You can talk to him if you want. You can sing whatever he wants to. I still remember uh, during uh, the last days of his retirement, he called me and said, Shadevi, uh, send off the rambo. They are sending me off. Send off the rambo. Would you mind singing one of my favorite songs? I said, why should I? Why should I sing it? He said, you have to. That is your gift to the guru. That is a gift to your guru. Call it Guru Dakshina. So, you know, I did sing. I did sing two songs which you always liked. One is a Malayalam and the other one is a Tamil, Tamil film song. I always, uh, I was bold enough to tell him that Sallatan in Epadu Tiriaville. Sallatan in Epadu Tiriaville. Adu Sonali Yarikum Puriaville. Even if he tells you what it is, you know what happens? You don't understand what it is. So some, some of my uh, friends would ask me, Sri Devi, do you think you, you do understand whatever Dr. Manuel tells us in the class? I say, yes, I do understand. And the other song was, I, I always tell him, I remember you with Salatan in Nepal. What I want you to tell you, I don't know what it is. means I know so much about it that I don't want to verbalize it now. You know, I know. It's a, it's a mutual understanding. The other one was, Maya Mohini Saraswadi Manasi this was one of his favorite, and he always liked Poonuli, Poonuli, Kai, Viral Kuranyalo, Pukari, Malerini, Arkuvendi, Talirita, Kinakartan, Tamara Malavanga. That was something which he loved. What I want you to understand a listener's request to a student, myself. And I oblige because he is a guru. And I still remember my children were very good friends of Dr. Manuel. Gayatri and Apu liked him so much. He came home, he had lunch with us, and then Gayatri and Apu would play with him. Different sort of uh, what we have. The, um, they, they'll ask him, what happens if something happens and if something doesn't happen or something like that. All the quizzes, physical things. And he would say that. And he said, uh, Sri Devi, uh, your children are very bright, intelligent, smart, and don't make them dull. <laughs> because he believed, my guru believed that proper guidance, if not given, Children actually become dull with knowledge. There is a thing like that. You become very smart with knowledge and then after some time you are fed up and then sometimes what happens is you are dull. You don't learn many more things like that. So what I want you to understand is that I have found the quality of gurus in many of them. Pradegumari was a guru to me, Professor Pradegumari. G. Kumar Evlasar was a real good guru to me. See, Vishnu Narayanan Nambudri Sar, he was teaching us Middle English, Chaucer. And I almost fell at his feet every time he was quoting from the Vedas and Upanishads or from Irtachan. He would say, the Canterbury Inn. One of the students in my class will know what it is because she had taken her master's in Malayalam. Panther, Peruveri, Ambalam, Danile, Tandarai Kudi, Vyogam, Varimbole. All these people, the nun. There are all people who visit this particular inn. That is a satra, Peruveri Ambalam. So connecting them with so much of uh, knowledge 
ഇൻ സാൻസ്ക്രിറ്റ് ഇൻ മലയാളം ഇൻ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ആൻഡ് മേ ബി ഇൻ മെനി അതർ ടാക്സ് ഐ ഡോ ഐ ഡോ നോ ഹി വാസ് ഹി വാസ് ലൈക്ക് എ an elder brother to me and i am so happy that i could teach one of his daughters aditi usha i call her she was my student and we are very good friends so uh, i always think of uh, nilagandhan sir kk nilagandhan sir devumari teacher kumari pilla sir kumari pilla sir was a Uh, uh, a master or a guru in my family because he taught shandaji ji sadra ji ji gobi chetan uh, my another brother ramanujan and myself so five of us were so fortunate to be kumari villa sir's uh, students so uh, what i want you to understand is that you don't have to be away from the guru in the olden times that is why we have upanishads the learning was very close you sit with your guru and the guru doesn't go away you don't go away you live together and you sometimes try psychologically to imitate your guru which is a, something uh, good for you the way he speaks the way he sings or the way he explains things all these are uh, naturally imbibed by a student or a shishya he is a shishya he is a shishya in the sense that he is a, a lesser one because he hasn't reached that height of the guru but he is in the right way he is going and he is the right way so what i feel is that the upanishad learning is the guru gurutva episode which we all know ended almost ended when the britishers came and the great uh, lord macaulay and his minutes it's a wonderful record shamelessly he says his uh, he, it is macaulay speech in the parliament he starts it like that i have traveled across the length and breadth of india many times i i have not found a thief or a beggar it starts like that it's so rich a country so what we will have to do as the rulers that is a speech he tells them we will have to introduce english education well okay but we will have to make them believe that it's much superior than the vedic education you know that has happened that has happened sometimes when max muller comes down and he understands certain things but usually everybody is crazy about english education i know the medium every mother will tell me teacher ഒരു സീറ്റ് തരുമോ ഒരു സീറ്റ് ടീച്ചർ വിചാരിച്ച ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് മീഡിയത്തിൽ കൊടുക്കാമോ സോ ക്രൈസി അവർ പീപ്പിൾ സോ ഇൻ ബിഫോർ ഇൻഡിപെൻഡൻസ് ബിഫോർ ഇൻഡിപെൻഡൻസ് ദേ തോട്ട്ഫുള്ളി ഇൻട്രഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് ദി എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ആസ് ദി ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓൺ ഗുഡ് പാർട്സ് ഐ നോ ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് അതർവൈസ് ഐ വുഡ് ഇൻ ടോക്ക് ടു യു ഇൻ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് so it has as a, a link language it's a powerful language and uh, i don't mind telling you that it's one of the best languages because i've found when i learned master degree in english i discovered so many great things like we like similarities in our own vedas and uh english literature for example when wordsworth is introduced to us with, with the i wandered lonely as a cloud that floats high on wings and hills and all at once i saw a crowd a host of golden daffodils beside the lake beneath the trees fluttering and dancing in the breeze continuous as the stars that shine in the milky way they stretched a, a never ending line along the margin of a bay in it just after that when wordsworth finds out 
a poet could not but be gay in such a joke and company. So he becomes uh, happy that he, he sees all these, right? the daffodils. So uh, we have all these experiences in Vedic, uh, in our own uh, Hindu education also. So I compare them and I'm happy that Shakespeare happened for us also. I'm happy that Wordsworth happened for us, uh, for us also. And sometimes I, I have a doubt whether the typical English speaking people uh, honor English as we do. I have a doubt about that because the language that they use sometimes is not up to the mark. That's what I feel. Because we are tutored, we are taught in such a way phonetically correct things. We have a, a, a legacy of English also. So the English education did something wonderful to us, especially after independence. I do understand that. And when we study some task for education or when we study Keats or Burns or whoever, or the poets and the dramatists. I always quote uh, Dr. Johnson because Preface to Shakespeare was one of my favorite essays. So uh, Shakespeare, because Shakespeare was so big a person, Johnson sometimes find that he couldn't say something lesser about Shakespeare. So he tells that... Um, what is it that quotation is? Uh, I sink, ah, I sink into reverential silence. I don't want to say anything. I keep quiet. I sink into reverential silence. This is what the uh, some of the judges do when they listen to great songs from small kids of four or five. They just say, "Onnum parayanilla." We don't have to say anything. We don't have to because it's so complete that we keep quiet like that. So I'm so happy that I went through the Vedic portion as well as the English portion, the teacher or the master, or sometimes the, he's also called a lecturer, one who lectures. Earlier teachers were lecturers, mostly lecturers. That was their business. They did that. And then we have uh, that then uh, after um, maybe the after independence, uh, different types of uh, Hindustani, Hindi and regional language, they all, because of the presence of English, they always discovered something wonderful about their own culture, their own culture. I know, I have never heard that Janaganamanya was such a long anthem. I thought whatever we usually, even when I was doing my masters, I thought, actually I thought it was, or you, uh, what do you say, just the two stanzas or whatever it is like that. But, but what happens is when I'm sorry, I'm taking it with me because somebody is at the door. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, I'm talking to somebody else, but I have come back. Because I'm alone in the house, you will excuse me for that, okay? So uh, I was thinking, uh, we learned English and the link English gave us lots of things about beings other than ourselves. And I always want you to understand, whenever I see uh, the film, The Sound of Music, that film gave me so much uh, culture about music because the way how you teach. Uh, the captain with his children, one drop with his children, uh, and the children with all, all of the motherless children, they uh, they are in the custody of Maria, the governess, and she wants them to learn music. So she starts, let's say, how we begin, okay? 
do re mi fa so la ki are the tools with which we make music and once you have them in your heads you can sing anything you like even then the children do not understand a word of what you said so she tells them let me see how to make it simpler this is what the teachers do how to make it simpler do a deer a female deer ray a drop of golden sun me a name i call myself far a long long way to run so a needle pulling thread la a note to follow so t when it comes to t a drink with jam and bread so everything is functionally defined but when it the note la comes she is so clever la a note to follow so la is a note doesn't give you like t is a drink with jam and bread or sometimes we as we say far with dropping the r far a long long way to run do a female deer re r a y re is pronounced as re r e re re a golden sun t with almost explaining it in such a simpler way they start singing it like that so uh, i always think of all the pedagogy just as i said from all the films that i see and the books that i read and uh, i'm so happy to be a teacher all the time and uh, i have a wonderful experience of teaching english in a tamil college uh, in martanda it is nallur vetuvenni kandan shastra college where i taught them english using tamil whatever tamil i knew so when i say uh, bharatiyar lived in ettayapuram they would tell me subramanya bharatiyar lived in ettayapuram so i say it's not subramanya bharatiyar it is starting with s subramanya bharatiyar ma'am and the madri subramanya ela english Supramanya is the correct Tamil, so they know that they know that is Supramanya is pronounced in English and in Malayalam as Supramanya. Bharatiyar they don't have a pa, so they say Bharatiyar lived in Ettayapuram like that. So I was all in smiles when they teach. this is what happens with teachers your students who know more than what you know they teach you so i have been a student of many of my uh, friends teachers in tamil nadu or in the north or sometimes in kerala also and i still remember when a small village ettayapuram a small village they would pronounce it as a small village so i say it's not a small there is no u in it it's s m a l l apricha madam adu vandu small village so i learned so much of tamil from them i always ask why by i'm standing there sign pandradhukku apricha sign pandradhukku they are waiting like that so what my thesis what i want you to understand is that teachers or uh, mentors masters uh, gurus they are all the same provided they have different capacities like a guru always uh, complete okay? and a uh, teachers they are not sometimes complete they have dr manuel would say a learner in small letter is the shishya and a learner with the capital l is always the guru or the uh, teacher so uh, i was thinking about uh, what exactly happens if uh, we had had in these teachers at school and almost 50% of them are uh, towards the masters and towards the uh, 
knowledgeable things and towards completion. But another 50, I'm sorry to say that because it's my experience. They are not, uh, what you call, they are not moving towards becoming good teachers. Good teachers later become gurus. You don't have to go to a school to learn these things. Stay home, you become a guru. Like many of the gurus that we know, Guru Nanak or Guru Narayan, uh, uh, Narayana Guru, or all the gurus that we, we can count on our fingers. So uh, I, I never thought that uh, the, what you call the science, the science, which is not its own master, science getting overpowering the whole system of education with the technology along with it. They have something like an overpowering authority over the present education. The present education is uh, not to be blamed for what it is or how it is transacted. You don't have to because children know what's somebody's uh, whether it is useful or not, it's an easier thing to study, easier to, thing to comprehend. And science ed education has its plus points as well as its minus points. Science teachers, when they use scientific concepts, language becomes a hurdle for some of them. The English language or the Tamil language or the Malayalam language. Hurdle in the sense that when you say, uh, what is it, uh, for sodium, if sodium is sodium, it's okay. But sodium in Sanskrit or sodium in Tamil is a different thing. So uh, our teachers usually in chemistry or in physics, they never said, Uttolaga tatwa. They never say. Balance. Uttolagam. Uttolagam is a typical Sanskrit word. Whereas they said balance. Common balance is okay. Like that. So that's an issue actually. But uh, I'm scared. I'm worried. I'm scared. I'm worried about. You know what? The present pace with which our general education and the special education and the professional education. They, what they lack perhaps is they don't have the, the moral quality or the moral uh, mentor or the moral gurus with them. They have sheer teachers. Huh? So the professional education as well as the technology and Tamil education, they all uh, lose the fair colors when it comes to the present. And when it comes to the future, <laughs> I cannot prophesy it, but I hope the future education is because of, uh, we have this, uh, what you call, I have a book. Uh, this is a book. See, this is a book. One of my students wrote it. Teaching and learning in technology empowered classrooms. What are the context, issues, and practices? It's a beautiful book. She's uh, slightly worried because she's a teacher, a classroom teacher, and she knows a classroom empowered with technology can replace the person teacher. No technology, I personally feel, no technology can replace a good teacher because a good teacher is something more than technology, something more than uh, concepts, something more than, and, and it's a, uh, what you call it, it's an adventure. It's an adventure. So a teacher, adventurous, could make the world a fairer one, a fairer one. That's what I believe. And, uh, now, I, I think uh, I always find pedagogy, as you said, as I said earlier, pedagogy because uh, that's practical. That's practical. So uh, I have doubts about the future, but because I'm 81, I still have time 
to wait for what happens and let us hope things will be much uh, brighter and things will be useful things will be what we call human uh, not dehuman but humanized version the future uh, can wait that's what i believe and another point also we have a pedagogy called uh, pedagogy of the oppressed that's a wonderful book written by one of the uh, he's called paulo freire i've read that it's a beautiful book it tells you what happens with the oppressed people they should find their pedagogy and i have seen examples of it in wayanad in wayanad when i visited under the non formal education i found teachers in wayanad they are actually teaching for the uh, as i said for the uh, under nourished children uh, children with health hazards and they have developed some kind of a, a pedagogy they call it uh, as frere calls it other uh, and i have it with, with me that's a beautiful book uh, i have the malayalam version of it and the english version i have uh, read uh, oppressed those who are oppressed uh, less fortunate people so uh, whenever i think of those people those children those teachers they come from the uh, not very uh, recognized kula or uh, uh, the tribe or something like that uh, they have a feeling that they are lesser persons so this pedagogy should be practiced to tell them that there's nothing wrong with your birth in such a wonderful tribal area tribal adivasi or tribal they are more human and humane than most of the city people so once in a while i tell my students to teach the pedagogy or the oppressed not with a vengeance to fight not with a vengeance to fight but that's something nice because there is something called uh, people who do fight for their rights but they are not always heard in the right way so what do you think where do i i stop do you want some sort of a, uh, what you call an interactive session interaction session or something or can i uh, can i stop with one of the pedagogies which i found in the model uh, yes teacher you can uh, conclude and then we'll go on uh, to interactions okay okay that is uh, kumaran asha many of the malayalis must have heard about kumaran asha is boss a non formal teacher he was an asha asha he was a non formal teacher and i found one of his songs it's more a song than a poem it's called the title is tallayum uh, kunyum it's a, a conversational poem between a mother and a child the mother is uh, a slightly uh, uh, urbanized woman whereas the child with the original sin he is such a remote thing he tells her amma ee valliye nindu chemme pookal pogunna idha paranna he is seeing butterflies but he defines them as pookal the flowers who fly ee valliye nindu chemme pookal pogunna idha paranna amme so the mother tells him tetti you are wrong tetti ninak unni chollam nal poombaattagal alle adellam they are all uh, butterflies poombaattas don't call them flowers flying like that so he feels that's natural for a child to conceive the butterflies as flowers 
with wings right so the pedagogy should be when it comes to the elders hand the pedagogy uh, for the side of the child shouldn't be actually neglected i consciously try to do that in my b ed classes m ed classes and in my own house because uh, ideas and concepts and imaginations what they think as for example i remember uh, when my grandchild comes home when i call my dog as patty patty ki zor odto he tells me amuma don't call him a patty he has a name call him mickey and after that i do but when i was small we used to refer a dog a patty which has changed they have changed children they have uh, better understanding so with this i must say uh, uh, i can talk uh, uh, talk and talk and talk but uh, i know time is precious so uh, i'm so happy that you all just as uh, shakespeare said you lent your ears to me so special precious thank you for the listening and with this i conclude thank you uh, thank you teacher it has been a very illuminating lecture and uh, you have given us a lot of uh, food for thought as uh, you defined the difference between a guru and a mere teacher and about the various aspects of pedagogy uh, now i would there are many teachers uh, in in the audience also okay so i uh, request uh, them to please if you have any questions or uh, any views that you would like to express uh, please unmute yourself uh, introduce yourself you mention your name and from where you are and then you can uh, pose your question or your uh, comment or opinion whatever please yes. arjuna are you ready to yes ma'am i'm ready yes please. so good evening to one and all present here and first of all it gives me immense pleasure shri devi ma'am for to be a part of this webinar it was a very informative session and uh, we could learn a lot of things like for example different about different writers and the poem was really heart touching between the mother and the child and how the child corrects the mother yeah. so i have two questions ma'am one yeah. is ma'am there are many real examples of guru shishya for example ramakrishna parahamsa and uh, swami vekananda oh, yeah. ekalavya and dronacharya so right. ma'am according to you which is the best example you felt when you come when you came across which is the best example of a guru shishya this i wanted to know from oh. uh, i found uh, the bonding of the guru shishya in uh, krishna avatara sandeepani is supposed to be a good uh guru because he treated kuchela and krishna in the same way no difference he sent them to collect firewood and when they didn't come and there was a rain he fetched them back it is his responsibility like that but when it comes to drona because of the theme of mahabharata dronacharya if you ask me എന്റെ ഗുരു ഡോക്ടർ ഡോക്ടർ അല്ല സാറ് ഒ എൻ വി സാർ നന്നായിട്ട് എഴുതിയിട്ടുണ്ട് സാർ പറഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു പോയം ഞാൻ പറയാം സോ യു വിൽ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് പൂവുകൾ ആയിരം കീറി മുറിച്ചു ഞാൻ പൂവിന്റെ തത്വം പഠിക്കാൻ ഹൃദയങ്ങൾ ആയിരം കൊത്തി മുറിക്കു ഞാൻ ഹൃദയത്തിൻ തത്വം പഠിക്കാൻ നൂറ് സഹോദരരെ കൊല ചെയ്തു ഞാൻ അഞ്ചു പേർ കുരുക്ഷേത്രം ജയിക്കാൻ പെരുവിരൽ ദക്ഷിണ ചോദിച്ചു ഞാൻ ശിഷ്യൻ Virudhanyai billedutho poor. Can you afford that? So he tells us, there was a time when a guru, guru had to yield to power. He had to yield to the power of... So he said, Ekalavya actually didn't give me uh, any chance to recognize him as my shishya. He learned it. That was self-learning. But... in bharatam we have a concept that when you get vidya from uh, a guru whether uh, it is straight 
physically from him or by mananam you get it you will have to get his permission to adore him worship him as your guru that is something which he didn't do so when other gurus like vishwamitra vasishta they always had something always an axe to grind always had an axe to grind so you just can't be judgmental about them because it's all history or it's all uh, what you call the old tales and things like that so what happens is when it comes to i follow uh, the principle that judge not let things be like that judge not i cannot for example if if you ask me uh, as one of my students asked me uh, teacher kristu uh, in magdalena mariyathinoda premam ayirunno there is a chance there is a big chance for a girl to feel that he being the acharya she was towards him she was actually attracted i said yes but what do you mean by falling in love falling in love is a very beautiful experience with a guru you fall in love with a guru it's okay but you don't marry him you are not frivolous with him you feel that's exactly why the film you remember um, manju bhargavi and the uh, what's that feeling ayyo shankarabharanam shankarabharanam shankarabharana shastriya shankarabharanam shankarabharanam right yeah and i have read it in the right uh, light shankarabharanam shastri never had any physical attraction to that girl he was attracted to the form dance in her just the dance okay so uh, i'm sorry i'm sorry i cannot give you the right answer but uh, there is always an escape when you say as things are you will have to find out that there are sometimes uh, uh, what you call not fair not so fair things in our life fair things are there not very fair things with karna for example karna another character always from birth to death he was more sinned against than sinning don't you think so he was yes so thank you thank you so much ma'am for your valuable time and answering my question it is very helpful okay uh, dr jamila has joined but i see that her audio is not enabled so i think unfortunately we she'll not be able to talk to us okay uh, she is we, we will have a casual talk in my house because that's <laughs> <laughs> so close yes, uh, and now anybody else uh, wants to say something amita would you like to say something i didn't say much about much about technology because i'm not an adept with technology and i'm waiting for the results of technology and all the byjus up and things like that okay i'm sorry i'm not uh, very good at technology no but i think you summed it up very correctly saying that uh, technology cannot replace uh, the that's what i that's what i feel uh, uh, but now uh, during the covid times especially uh, yeah. for uh, young children uh, teacher has become an image in a on a screen ah. there is uh, no presence and uh, what they are missing they don't know they don't know what they are missing yeah. so uh, now as uh, we watch that the whole world is uh, uh, shifting towards an online uh, mode okay. of education more than uh, Uh, the actual physical uh, presence of teachers uh, so uh, how is it going to affect the future students are it, are they not missing something really huge uh, you don't have to say just like that because uh, in many of the classes which i examined i supervised what i found was teachers who are happy with technology they present a much better fairer picture okay teachers who are very conscious conscious about the way they pronounce conscious about the medium english conscious about little little things which they do, they do forget 
and they do not put up a real uh, sort of smart teacher. Whereas children, they don't have all these uh, backdrops. What they do is they enjoyed the classes. They enjoyed the classes, but uh, some of the areas where the rural areas where they didn't have the right connections and things like that, that was a waste of time for them. That was, but uh, I feel that if, uh, it's like um, everybody should see that. Uh, mind your language, series, mind your language. Those who really want to learn English as a foreign language, they go to a place where they have the technology and a good master. He is Mr. Brown. He introduces himself as, well, I am Mr. Brown, your teacher. So they, they tell them the first impression, no, 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 we are brown, you are white. That is how things change. So what happens is, I can give you a nice direction, for example, technology should be handled by people who have a liking to technology, not by Sri Dei teacher. She can speak, okay? <laughs> Thank you. And another issue that we discussed in one of the earlier seminars uh, is the uh, issue about literacy. Uh, as uh, in Kerala, we uh, claim that we are 100% literate. Uh, but then if you see the things that are happening around us, like uh, children being exposed to so much of uh, drugs and violence and, drugs and, and, things violence like that. and uh, uh, you know, terrible things are happening all around. And then we wonder how such things can happen in a society that claims to be 100% literate. So what is the difference between literacy and uh, being functional, educated? Functional literacy. There is a big gulf between literacy and functional literacy. Fortunately, I had a chance. Uh, I was deputed to the CANFED where non-formal things were taught to the rural areas. And also I went to Idiki, went to Vainada. And what I found was actually that scheme was a wonderful thing with real human beings, teachers, talking to them in human language, which they were very happy to receive. But the thing was, when they thought this was a special program for the oppressed. That was a psychological wall against that. And they said all the rich people, they take their children to the English medium classes. We don't have that classes here. That was root level. And then we'll have to come up, but the teachers, the volunteers who wanted to teach them, I should say, because I had uh, uh, taught them many things which they never understood. They never understood. For example, uh, they felt that Saksharada actually literally means you are with Aksharas. Okay? You are with Aksharas. That is what they thought the real Aksharya. Saksharya. Saksharada is not that. Saksharada is to behave in a very polite way to a person who comes for help. Sakshadada is helping somebody to find out the Aadhaar. Sakshadada is something a voter, when asked, he doesn't know how to write. So can you please help me like that? That is Sakshadada. Sakshadada is when you eat, you find somebody else is not having food, share it with them. That is Sakshadada. So, Sakshadada in the three-dimensional form, I have seen. I've seen it. That was a wonderful experience as a non-formal educator for me. I tell you, because I was not a non-formal person, I was a formal teacher who had learned so many formal things. Like, I never made them uh, somebody uh, lesser. Never. I never told them that you are somebody lesser than myself. You know how if they call me Amma, I answer, Amma, okay. 
amma is a better name for a teacher they don't have to call me teacher and then when they drink naringa vellam or kaapi or whatever they have they don't mind sharing it with me after drinking it with their own lips so i told them because there were no covid or nothing like that i told them this is one of the best ways eh this is a toast you are giving me a toast but i tell you i am a pure vegetarian woman i don't actually like the smell of the fish in the glass right so i told them i'm sorry i cannot drink this can you give me another glass without the smell of meat so they said they understood what exactly why why do you functionally make yourself different misunderstanding or what of them they are fed up they are fed up with the programs they tell us spending money on us we know what happens all the teachers they have their remuneration but we don't have the advantage of money people which we don't have decided i said next year onwards i that was pn panikar sir i told him sir you are uh, you are not on the right guideline can i can i suggest some of the things you know what happens when you go to a non formal institute you are being ruled and overruled by men shri devi teacher is just a woman then but i made it my mark that if you are taking me doing these things treat me as a teacher not as a woman okay the language has to be decent enough the behavior pattern they have to be decent enough so you know what happened after just one year i had three years to do there but i just went back to talasheri as the principal government training college this is what happens so uh, unless we have a, a, a what you call the the big picture the big picture of misuse of money misuse of power misuse of anything and everything food items i know certain food items i tick but i don't see it in the food pattern so i ask them why what happened with the palak what happened with the moral see so it's it's not an easy task for a woman to uh, do something informally or non formally although my husband because he was an engineer and he had sambalam and kimbalam he lent me lots of money to spend that's what happened so i'm being very bluntly uh, honest yeah so i think uh, boneshuri wants to say something okay Uh, yeah actually i was waiting for more teachers to join in and talk uh, basically i i am not a teacher so i was waiting for uh, jamila ji and other teachers to join uh, but anyways um, today's uh, this uh, i should say discourse was wonderful we got a different concept altogether and uh, the way the respected shri devi teacher explained to us who a guru is and the difference between a guru and a teacher and gurutwa it is all in the indian context and uh, yeah, uh, gurutwa actually is gravity gravity, gravity. Yeah. but yeah, yeah. great uh, but when we say gurutwa gurutwam we mean the um, guru's blessings gurutwam und gurutwam und nu parayille nammal so ah, that's yes, it, yes. that sort of uh, that how you explain in the indian context and linking it to the upanishads this is a really uh, novel experience yeah yes. that's a wonderful thing that happens to the world the world when is the world it's so pure a thing the concept when it is a conceptual level it is honestly pure but when it is translated into action what happens is ഞങ്ങൾ മലയാളത്തിൽ അതിനൊരു വാക്ക് പറയും ഇപ്പം നിറച്ച് വെള്ളം ഇല്ലാത്ത സമയം കുളിച്ചെന്ന് വരുത്തും റൈറ്റ് 
you make sure that you your hair is wet kaati kootuga there is a term kaati kootuga correct something you don't do many things you don't actually act as a fair person but just make sure that your honorary mb is finished and things like that and you then go back there is actually no pardon i never give any pardon to such workers you know why they come you know because most of them come for some kind of monetary attraction and most of them i tell you they are not literate that is why when they evaluate kottayam as the best place where everybody is set, uh, they call avada uh, the, ezhudi varunna undu patrathil varunna oru term undu sampurna saksharata kottayam has gained sampurna saksharata you know the best in write your name do you think that is, when you write down your name that is sampurna saksharata but habiba bibi oda i ask her do you know the meaning of your name she said no when you for example uh, whenever i find my students i ask them do you know for example oru kutiyada peru parayana samsad my name is samsad so i ask her do you know the real meaning of your name no i said next time when you come to my class get it from whoever has given you the name so she came back i i know it because i have learned it from the dictionary two girls one is samsad and the other is uh, jasila jasila muslim even rohan when rohan comes to my class i ask him do you know the names significance or something ayu achana me ita pera na aalochite illa see this is what happens we malayalis i tell you we don't take things seriously never take things seriously you are concerned eh most most of the malayalis are concerned with uh, juju lulu mall or juju something or finding uh, lots of gold ornaments how do you get these things even if uh, my uh, the one who stays with me uh, she is asking me amma amme kurupadi onnu ille so a woman without uripadi is just nothing see appo adine pagare njan avarodu parannu ee uripadi valla kalanu eduthondu povunu ya kalan nalla uripadi idaadirikkunnada enikku as a teacher njangalodu parannu we were taught for the be at that you should never you always put up your hair and never wear gold ornaments while you go for the teaching practice you know because girls always look at you as a, an ornamental uh, what you call the uh, bima jewelry things like that one of the girls orike uh, ennodu parnadhan a teacher onnum padipikilla nokki irikka narachu maaley valayokke undu just imagine don't underestimate our students don't ever underestimate them they know who happens to be a real good teacher she doesn't have to be fair she doesn't have to use makeup they know children know real teachers are being discovered by students it's my experience because uh, i had 9 years of teaching experience in the high school and when it comes to the high school what happens is something related to sex when it comes every girl started giggling they don't know why they giggle but they for example you just cannot say a, a word like mula mula kacha ketti astrigale kandu kacha mula kacha so i explain it why what does it show annate samskaram endayirunu blouse tunni idandadana nobody does it ee tambriyatti marakke endu unda blouse idada kandittullathu because a tailor is a, an inferior man അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് നമ്മുടെ എല്ലാ തമ്പുരാട്ടിമാർക്കും ആദ്യം ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നത് ബ്ലൗസ് അല്ലല്ലോ സോ ആയിട്ടില്ല അപ്പൊ അവര് ചിരിച്ചപ്പോ ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു എടോ ഇന്ന് വീട്ടിൽ ചെല്ലുമ്പോ തന്റെ അമ്മയെ ഒന്ന് സൂക്ഷിച്ചു നോക്കണം അമ്മയ്ക്ക് മുലയുണ്ടോ എന്ന് ന
സോ ഷി സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് ഗിഗിളി തേർഡ് ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു തന്നെ തന്നെ നോക്കണം ടീച്ചർ ഞാൻ ഇനി ചിരിക്കൂല ടീച്ചർ ഞാൻ ഇനി ചിരിക്കൂല യു ഹാവ് ടു ബി അപ് ടു ദം ടു മേക്ക് ദം ഡീസെന്റ് ഇനാ ഗുഡ് ഗേൾസ് ഞാൻ കുട്ടികളോട് ഇതൊക്കെ പറഞ്ഞു കൊടുക്കും ഫിസിക്കൽ സയൻസിന്റെ ടീച്ചർ പറഞ്ഞു കൊടുക്കുകയില്ല ബയോളജി ടീച്ചർ പറഞ്ഞു കൊടുക്കുകയില്ല എടു പീരിയഡ്സ് ഒക്കെ എങ്ങനെയാ പഠിപ്പിക്കുന്നത് ബയോളജി ടീച്ചർ ഇസ് ആസ്കിങ് മീ ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു എന്റെ ക്ലാസ്സിലോട്ട് വിടും ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു കൊടുക്കാം നമ്മളുണ്ടല്ലോ രണ്ട് തരമുണ്ട് കുഞ്ഞ് ചോദിച്ചോണ്ട് ഞാൻ പറയാണ് അഭിനയിക്കുന്ന ആളുകളുണ്ട് ദ ആർ ഇൻ ആക്ടിങ് ആസ് ഇഫ് ദ ആർ ദാറ്റ് അല്ലാത്തവരുണ്ട് അവര് അവർ ദ ഡോൺ ഹാവ് ടു ദ ഡോൺ ഹാവ് ടു അവര് അതാണ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വാട്ട് ദ ആർ അപ്പൊ അതിന് വ്യത്യാസമില്ല ഈ ഇതൊക്കെ മനസ്സിലാക്കണമെങ്കിൽ എന്ത് വേണമെന്നറിയാം ശരിക്കും യു ഹാവ് ടു നല്ല ബി ബ്രെയിൻ വി ഹാവ് ടു ബി ഓണേസ്റ്റ് പിന്നെ നന്നായിട്ട് വെർബലൈസ് ചെയ്യാനുള്ള കഴിവ് വേണം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ കുഴങ്ങിപ്പോ ഐ എം സോ ഹാപ്പി മൈ മദർ തോട്ട് എസ് ഓൾ ഹൗ ടു സേ സംതിങ് ഇൻ ദ റൈറ്റ് വേ താങ്ക് യു സോ മച്ച് ഫോർ ദ എക്സ്പ്ലനേഷൻ നോട്ട് ഓൺലി ദിസ് എക്സ്പ്ലനേഷൻ ബട്ട് റിയലി യു ടുക്ക് ദിസ് യു നോ ദോക്ക് ടുഡേസ് ടു അ ഡിഫറെന്റ് ഹയർ ലെവൽ it is not uh, like a usual teachers day you know when you talk about teachers it's quite different and uh, do, do actually, you think i enjoyed the speech of I'm course sure you would have enjoyed i did i did that is the yeah, quality did, when the speaker enjoys that's all that you want yeah <laughs> <laughs> madam you took us and back I, to our school days when and today i have uh, as you were speaking about your own personal experience with the gurus i kept thinking about two three of my gurus today again and the words are really echoing in my ears i really yeah. relive those days you know that was yeah. what uh, is a, a top all about <laughs> taking in real situations then of Money, course can i speak yes please one, do one second i'll just complete one more thing was about your film and uh, you know the sound of music and uh, the mind your language series i am going to again watch them i now remember the beach oh, beach and yes, make sure that you sing with them the yeah. other song <laughs> nothing comes from nothing nothing ever could so somewhere in my mood for childhood i must have done something good for here you are sitting there loving me whether or not you think so somewhere in my mood is lovely that was lovely <laughs> so we have seen it uh, earlier in our um, childhood and all that we have seen it many times but again i am going to believe that and going to watch Please that see that it's such a fresh, fresh thing to see that yeah yeah that's right yeah. thank you so much thank you so much for the knowledge you shared and your that was wonderful usha ji thank I you so much i must say nice english that was my pleasure yes. thank you padmini uh, yes please go ahead now padmini Uh, is, uh, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> I am Padmini. I was very fortunate to be a student of all the eminent teachers that you just now mentioned. Your own sister, Shandagumari teacher is yeah. one of my baby yeah. teachers. And Hrudayumari teacher, Kumari yeah. Pula sir. I was a yes. student of the university college. And so luckiest I was very person. lucky. You are one of the luckiest persons. One of the luckiest persons. മാഡം പറഞ്ഞതിൽ നിന്ന് എനിക്ക് മനസ്സിലായത് ലിറ്ററസി ഇസ് വൺ തിങ് ആൻഡ് കൾച്ചർ ഇസ് എറ്റ് അനദർ തിങ് ഇസ് ലിറ്ററസി വേണ്ട സുഭാഷിതം പറഞ്ഞപ്പോ ഞാൻ അത് പറഞ്ഞു ഒരു കുളിച്ച് നല്ല ഡ്രസ് ഒക്കെ ഇട്ട് പത്മദീർസി കുളിച്ചിട്ട് ഒരു വയസ്സായ ആളെ എല്ലാ ശനിയാഴ്ചയും അമ്മ ഒരു പ്രാവശ്യം വിളിക്കും ഞാൻ എന്തെങ്കിലും രാവിലത്തെ ഒരു ഇലയിൽ വെച്ച് കഴിക്കാൻ കൊണ്ട് കൊടുത്ത് ഒരു കുപ്പി വെള്ളവും കൊടുത്തും കാർഷഡിൽ ഇരുത്തി കഴിച്ചിട്ട് പോകും വേറൊരു ദിവസം ഹി ഹാസ് ടേക്കൺ മീ ആസ് എ സോർട്ട് ഓഫ് എ വുമൺ ഹൂ നോസ് പോവർട്ടി 
ഏർ പിന്നത്തെ ദിവസം വിളിച്ചപ്പോ ഞാൻ അടുക്കളേന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു ഞാന് പിള്ളേർക്കുള്ള ചോറൊക്കെ കെട്ടിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് ഐം സോറി ഞാൻ ഒരു അഞ്ചു മിനിറ്റ് നിക്കണേ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു അപ്പൊ അയാൾ പറയാ ഉറക്കെ പറയാണ് ദാറ്റ് വാസ് എക്സലൻ്റ് വല്ലോം തരണമെങ്കിൽ തരണം ഞാൻ ഇവിടെ നിന്നാ പോരാ എനിക്ക് വേറെ വീട്ടിലൊക്കെ പോകാനുണ്ട് ഹി മീൻസ് ബിസിനസ് ഹിസ് ബിസിനസ് ഇസ് ടു ബാക്ക് സോ ഹി ഹാസ് അതർ ഹൗസസ് ടു ഗോ ഐ ഹാവ് നോ റൈറ്റ് ഹി സെ ഐ ഹാവ് നോ റൈറ്റ് ഞാൻ പെട്ടെന്ന് ചപ്പാത്തി ഒക്കെ എടുത്ത് ഇലയിലാക്കി കൊടുത്തു ഐ എം സോറി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു So he said, Amma, how do you say that? If you say that, if you say that, you say that, you say that, you say that, you say that. No. This is exactly what, is hap- what has happened to all the gurus and their sisters. You practice what you preach, right? You practice. That's it. That's it. പിന്നെ നമ്മളിൽ ശിഷ്യഭാവം ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ എല്ലാവരും നമ്മുടെ ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് ആണ് അല്ലെ ഗുരുക്കന്മാരാണല്ലോ കണ്ട് ദക്ഷിണ വെക്കാതെയോ കണ്ട് ചോദിക്കാതെയോ പോയി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞപ്പം ആ പിന്നെ ഏകലവ്യൻ ഹി ബീങ് എ വൈൽഡ് ബോയ് കേട്ടോ ആരണ്യക്കാണ് ആരണ്യക്കാണ് ഞാനാണ് ഗുരുവെങ്കിൽ അങ്ങനെ ഒരിക്കലും പെരുവിരൽ ചോദിക്കില്ല ഇല്ല ചോദിക്കുകയില്ല അപ്പോഴാണ് നമ്മൾ പറയുന്ന ഗുരുക്കന്മാരുടെ ഇടയിലും ഇങ്ങനത്തെ ആളുകൾ ഉണ്ടോ ഉണ്ട് അതാ സാർ എഴുതിയിരുന്ന പെരുവിരൻ ദക്ഷിണ ചോദിച്ചു ഞാൻ ശിഷ്യൻ വിരുദ്ധനായി വില്ലെടുത്തപ്പോൾ ഭൂമിതൻ കന്യയെ കാട്ടിലെറിഞ്ഞു ഞാൻ ഭൂപാല ധർമ്മം പുലർത്താൻ ഇപ്പോഴും ശ്രീരാമന്റെ മേത്തുള്ള ഏറ്റവും വലിയ ബ്ലമിഷ് എന്താണെന്നറിയാമോ സീതയെ ഉപേക്ഷിച്ചതാണ് കാര്യങ്ങൾ നമ്മൾ ശരിക്കും നന്നായി മനസ്സിലാക്കി ജീവിക്കണം സത്യത്തിൽ എന്നാലേ ഒരു ഹോൾസം ലൈഫ് നമുക്ക് ഉണ്ടായി എന്ന് പറയാൻ സാധിക്കുള്ളൂ അതെ വളരെ സന്തോഷം ടീച്ചറെ പറ്റി ഞാൻ കേട്ടിട്ടേ ഉള്ളൂ ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു അനിയത്തി ഉണ്ടെന്ന് എനിക്ക് അറിയാമായിരുന്നു ഇന്ന് കാണാൻ പറ്റിയില്ല എനിക്ക് വളരെ സന്തോഷം ടീച്ചർ എനിക്ക് ശ്രീധരനായ സാർ എന്നെ പഠിപ്പിച്ച് യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി കോളേജിൽ വെച്ചിട്ട് സാറിന്റെ ഭാര്യ ഞാൻ ഫേസ്ബുക്കിൽ ഞാൻ എന്തോ ഒരെണ്ണം എഴുതിയപ്പോ അനിയത്തി എന്ന് എന്നെ വിളിച്ചിട്ട് എനിക്ക് ഒരു മറുപടി അയച്ചു ഐ വാസ് ട്രൈങ് ഓൾ ത്രൂ ദ നൈറ്റ് അറിയാമോ എന്നിട്ട് ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു ഐ എം സോ സോറി ഞാൻ ഇതുവരെ ഈ ചേച്ചിയെ ഞാൻ കണ്ടില്ലായിരുന്നല്ലോ സാരമില്ല അനിയത്തി അത് എഴുതിയത് ഞാൻ വായിച്ചു യു ഹവ് ഡൺ ഇറ്റ് വെൽ അതുകൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ എഴുതിയതാണ് പിന്നെ ഇപ്പൊ ഞങ്ങൾ വി ആർ വെരി ഗുഡ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ശ്രീധരനായ സാറും എന്നെ പഠിപ്പിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് മിഡിൽ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ചാസറെ പഠിപ്പിച്ച് എനിക്ക് വിശ്വനാരായണ സാറിന്റെ വീട് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാലുണ്ടല്ലോ എനിക്കൊരു രണ്ടാമത്തെ വീടാ സാറിങ്ങനെ അകത്തോട്ട് നോക്കി പറയാം സാർ അവിടെ ഇല്ലേ സാവിത്രി ശ്രീദേവി വന്നിരിക്കുന്നു എന്ന് പറയും സോ ദാറ്റ് ഗിഫ്റ്റ് മീ സോ മച്ച് ഇത് തന്നെ ഒ എൻ ഇ സാറിന്റെ വീട്ടിൽ ഞാൻ ചെന്ന സരോജം ഭാര്യ ചെന്ന് ചോദിക്കും സാറിനോട് ഇവിടെ ഇരുത്തണോ അകത്തേക്ക് കൊണ്ടുവരണോ അപ്പൊ സാർ ചിരിച്ചോണ്ട് ശ്രീദേവിയെ അകത്തേക്കല്ലേ സരോജ അന്നത്തെ ഗുരുനാഥന്മാരൊക്കെ ഇപ്പൊ ഉണ്ടോ ടീച്ചർ ആ ഒരു നമുക്ക് സമയമായിട്ടുണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾക്കെങ്കില് ഞാൻ അയവിടെ നിങ്ങൾ എങ്ങനെ നമസ്തെ ഞാൻ ഒരു ടീച്ചറായിരുന്നു ടീച്ചറിന്റെ ആ ഒരു സ്പീച്ച് ഇപ്പൊ നമ്മുടെ ഉഷാ മാം പറഞ്ഞതുപോലെ വളരെ ഇലുമിനേറ്റിംഗ് ആയിരുന്നു എല്ലാ ആസ്പെക്ട്സും ടച്ച് ചെയ്ത് ടച്ച് ചെയ്ത് ടച്ച് ചെയ്ത് പോയിട്ടുണ്ട് ഐ വാസ് വെരി എക്സൈറ്റഡ് അപ്പൊ എനിക്ക് അതിൽ നിന്ന് വളരെ ഇഷ്ടപ്പെട്ടുള്ള ഒരു പോയിന്റ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ആ സാക്ഷരതയെ കുറിച്ച് ടീച്ചർ പറഞ്ഞു ത്രീ ഡയമെൻഷൻ ഡെഫിനിഷൻ സാക്ഷരത എല്ലാ കൺട്രീസും അല്ല എല്ലാ ഇതും പറയുന്നുണ്ട് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് പെർസെന്റ് സാക്ഷരതയായി ഹൺഡ്രഡ് പെർസെന്റ് സാക്ഷരയായിരുന്നു പക്ഷെ എന്നാണ് അക്ഷരാർത്ഥത്തിൽ ആ സാക്ഷരത പറയണത് എന്താണെന്നുള്ളത് ഫുഡ് വസ്ത്രം ഇതൊക്കെ ആവശ്യമുള്ളത് കൊടുക്കുക എന്നല്ല അക്ഷരം മാത്രമല്ല എന്നുള്ള ആ ഒരു ഒരു കൺസെപ്റ്റ് അതെനിക്ക് ഒരുപാട് വെളിച്ചം തന്നു നമ്മുടെ അല്ല നമുക്കേ കുചേലന്റെ ഭാര്യ കൊടുത്തയക്കുന്നതിനെ പറ്റി രാമപുരുത്വാര്യർ പറഞ്ഞത് കല്ലും നെല്ലും എല്ലാം അവലെന്നു വെച്ചിട്ട് കൃഷ്ണന്റെ കൈ കിട്ടുമ്പോ അത് കല്ല് നെല്ലു ഒന്നും അല്ല അവലാണ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് സാക്ഷരത ഒന്ന് മനസ്സിലാക്കാം കൃഷ്ണൻ കൃഷ്ണൻ അയ്യോ ഇത് മുഴുവൻ കല്ല് നെല്ലു ആണല്ലോ കൃഷ്ണൻ പറഞ്ഞില്ലല്ലോ മല്ലരിപ്പു പിന്നെയും വായിക്കാൻ പിന്നെയും എടുക്കാൻ പോയി 
അപ്പോഴാണ് ലക്ഷ്മി പറഞ്ഞത് അതീവ മൂല്യം മതി കഴിച്ചത് മതി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു അത്രേ ഉള്ളു നമ്മള് മനസ്സിലാക്കണം വാസ്വതി ഭക്തിയും വിഭക്തിയും എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ ഒരു നല്ല ടോപ്പിക് നമുക്ക് വള്ളത്തോളിന്റെ കവിത പഠിപ്പിക്കാനുണ്ടായിരുന്നു എട്ടാം ക്ലാസ്സിലും എന്തോ ഭംഗിയായിട്ട് എനിക്ക് കാര്യങ്ങൾ പറഞ്ഞു കൊടുക്കാൻ സാധിച്ചു വാട്ട് ഈസ് വിഭക്തി വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഭക്തി രണ്ടും വേണം ഭക്തിയും വേണം വിഭക്തിയും വേണം ഞാൻ എനിക്ക് ഞാൻ എന്റെ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ബി എഡ് കാരോട് പറയുമല്ലോ അവരെല്ലാരും ഉണ്ടല്ലോ ഓരോന്ന് പറയുമ്പോഴത്തേക്ക് നിർബന്ധമായിട്ട് തെറ്റിച്ച് പറയുന്ന ഒരു കാര്യമുണ്ട് അത് ഇതെന്റെ സൗഭാഗ്യം എന്ന് പറയും സൗഭാഗ്യം നല്ല അവിടെ ആറ്റം ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നത് ഇതെന്റെ ഭാഗ്യം സൗഭാഗ്യം ഇൻ സാൻസ്ക്രിക് മീൻസ് സുഭകതയുടെ ഭാവം ഇതെന്റെ സൗന്ദര്യം എന്ന അങ്ങനെയുള്ള ഒരു പറഞ്ഞു ഞാൻ തിരുത്തി കൊടുക്കുമല്ലോ അപ്പൊ ഉടനെ രാജേശ്വരി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ അയ്യോ ഞാൻ എത്ര നാളായിട്ട് തെറ്റിച്ച് പറയുക ടീച്ചർ അതാണ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ശിഷ്യ സംതിങ് റോങ് ഈസ് പോയിന്റഡ് ഔട്ട് യു അനലൈസ് യു ഗെറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് യു ആക്സെപ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഒരുപാട് നന്ദി ടീച്ചർ ഒരുപാട് നന്ദി നാമിങ്ങ അറിയുവത് അല്പം എല്ലാം ഓമനെ ദൈവ സങ്കല്പം ഇതൊക്കെ അല്ലേ നമ്മുടെ പാഠപുസ്തകത്തിൽ ഇടേണ്ടത് ഇതാ ഇടേണ്ടത് ഇതൊക്കെയാ ഇടേണ്ടത് അങ്ങനെ ഒരു ഇതുണ്ട് ഈ കൾച്ചർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് എന്താണെന്നുള്ളത് അറിഞ്ഞു വേണം ഇടാൻ അതിന് പകരം എന്തെങ്കിലും ഒക്കെ ആര ആരുടെയെങ്കിലും ഒക്കെ ഇട്ടിട്ട് പഠിപ്പിച്ചോളാൻ പറയുക അല്ല ചെയ്യേണ്ടത് അമ്മയും മാമ്മയും ഒക്കെ പറഞ്ഞു എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞില്ലേ അത് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഷുഡ് ബിഗിൻ അറ്റ് ഹോം അമ്മയാണ് പറഞ്ഞു കൊടുക്കേണ്ടത് പണ്ടൊക്കെ എന്റെ അമ്മയ്ക്കിടെ മാക്സിമം വലിയ ചീത്ത ഞാൻ അക്സെപ്റ്റ് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നത് ഗായത്രിയെ ഞാൻ വിളിക്കുന്ന അസത്തേ ഞാൻ സംസ്കൃതത്തിൽ വഴക്ക് പറഞ്ഞ ഫലിക്കിയില്ല അത് ദൈവങ്ങളുടെ ഭാഷയായതുകൊണ്ട് പോട്ടടി എന്ന് പറയും അമ്മച്ചി ഞങ്ങളൊക്കെ വിളിക്കുന്ന തെറ്റ് ചെയ്ത അമ്മച്ചി ആദ്യം ഉണങ്ങാത്ത തുണി ഉണങ്ങിയ തുണി എല്ലാം കൂടെ അതിന്റെ അടുത്തോണ്ടൊക്കെ പോകുമ്പോഴത്തേക്കും കൊണ്ട് എവിടെയെങ്കിലും ഇങ്ങനെ ഇടുകയൊക്കെ ചെയ്താല് അമ്മണ്ടാതെ വന്ന് അതെല്ലാം വിരിച്ചിട്ടിട്ട് ഇത് ആരായാലും ചെയ്തത് ചോദിക്കും അപ്പൊ ഞാൻ എപ്പോഴും സത്യം പറയും ഞാനാ ആ സത്തെ ഇങ്ങനെയാണോ അത്ര നല്ല ഒരു മനുഷ്യർ എന്റെ അമ്മച്ചി ഞാൻ ഒരു നല്ല ആർട്ടികൾ അമ്മച്ചി ഞങ്ങളുടെ കുടുംബ യോഗത്തിന് ഒറ്റ തിരി ഇട്ട നില വിളക്ക് ഇപ്പോഴും അത് വായിച്ച എനിക്ക് കണ്ണു പറയും ഒമ്പത് മക്കളെ പ്രസവിച്ച് സ്റ്റൈലിനായിട്ട് വളർത്തുക കാതിലൊരു കമ്മലി ഞാൻ കണ്ടിട്ടില്ല കഴുത്തിലൊരു മാല ഞാൻ കണ്ടിട്ടില്ല കയ്യിലൊരു വള ഞാൻ കണ്ടിട്ടില്ല ശാന്തി ചേച്ചി അതിനു മുമ്പ് ഒരു ചേട്ടനും തുടങ്ങി എന്റെ അനിയൻ വരെ ഒമ്പത് മക്കളെ അമ്മച്ചി വളർത്തിയത് പിന്നെ പൊന്നിൻ കുടത്തിന് പൊട്ടു വേണോ നീ ചോദിക്കും ഞാൻ എപ്പോഴും അതൊക്കെ കണ്ടു വളർന്നാലുണ്ടല്ലോ നമുക്ക് ഒരു മര്യാദ ചുമ്മാ വളയൊക്കെ എടുത്തു പോയ ചുമ്മാ മാലയൊക്കെ എടുത്തു അങ്ങനെ ഞാൻ ചെയ്തിട്ടേ ഇല്ല അതാണ് നല്ല സത്യമാണത് നമ്മൾ അഹങ്കരിക്കരുത് നല്ല അച്ഛനമ്മമാരെ കിട്ടുക എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഭാഗ്യമാണ് നല്ല അധ്യാപകനെ കിട്ടുക എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഭാഗ്യമാണ് നല്ല ഭർത്താവിനെ കിട്ടുക നല്ല ഭാര്യയെ കിട്ടുക നല്ല കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളെ കിട്ടുക ഇതൊക്കെ ഭാഗ്യം ഇതൊക്കെ നല്ല ഭാഗ്യമാണ് എന്നാൽ ഇപ്പൊ ഒരെണ്ണം കൂടെ നമുക്ക് ചേർക്കാം നല്ല ജോലിക്കാരിയെ കിട്ടുന്നതും ഭാഗ്യം പിന്നെ ഒരു അത്യാവശ്യം വേണ്ട ഒരു കാര്യമുണ്ട് നമുക്കൊക്കെ വേണ്ടതുണ്ട് ഞാനറിയാമോ ഒരു സെൻസ് ഓഫ് ഹ്യൂമർ വേണം ചിരിക്കാൻ കഴിയണം മുഖം വീർപ്പിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കരുത് ചിരിക്കാൻ കഴിയണം അതാണ് വേണ്ടത് അപ്പൊ ഐ മസ് സേ ഐ എം താങ്ക്ഫുൾ ആൻഡ് ഐ എം വെരി ഹാപ്പി നിങ്ങളൊക്കെ ഷെയർ ചെയ്ത് കേട്ടപ്പോ എനിക്ക് തോന്നി ഒരു ഒരു ഇതും കൂടെ പറയാനൊക്കെ ഉള്ള ശക്തി ഉണ്ടല്ലോ ശ്രീദേവിക്ക് എന്നൊക്കെ തോന്നി എന്നൊക്കെ പറഞ്ഞ് ഞാൻ ഇങ്ങനെ ചമ്മി ഇരിക്കുകയായിരുന്നു പക്ഷെ ഐ ഡോ ഫീൽ ഇറ്റ് സന്തോഷമായിട്ട് പറയാൻ സാധിച്ചു അതെ ഒരുപാട് നേരമായി ഒരുപാട് നേരം മെനക്കെടുത്തി മെനക്കെടുത്തി ഞാനെന്താ പറഞ്ഞത് ഞാൻ പിന്നെ ഇവിടെ റേഡിയോ സ്റ്റേഷനിൽ പോയിട്ട് വർഷങ്ങളോളം രാവിലെ അഞ്ച് അമ്പത്തഞ്ചിന് അഞ്ച് മിനിറ്റിൽ നിർത്തുന്ന സുഭാഷിതം പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് 
അപ്പൊ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് എനിക്ക് ഐ നോ സ്റ്റോപ്പ് അഞ്ചു മിനിറ്റിൽ നിർത്താനറിയാം അമ്പത് മിനിറ്റിൽ നിർത്താനറിയാം അമ്പത് മണിക്കൂറിൽ വർത്താനം പറയാനും അറിയാം അമ്മ എന്റെ അമ്മ പതിവായിട്ട് കേട്ടിരുന്നു സുഭാഷിതം അപ്പൊ ഇപ്പൊ ടീച്ചറാണ് വരുന്നതെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞപ്പോ അമ്മ പറഞ്ഞു സുഭാഷിതം ഇപ്പൊ കേൾക്കാറില്ല ശ്രീദേവിയുടെ ആ ഞാന് ഈ കൊറോണ വന്നപ്പോഴേ ഞാൻ ക്യാൻസർ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ടിലായിരുന്നു അപ്പോഴേ അവര് വിളിച്ചു ചോദിച്ചപ്പോ ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു മാസ്ക് ഒക്കെ ഇട്ട് വരാനൊക്കെ പ്രയാസമാണെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു അങ്ങനെ ഞാൻ പോയിട്ടില്ല പിന്നെ ഞാൻ പോയില്ല ഇപ്പോഴും എനിക്ക് ഐ എം എ സർവൈവർ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞുകൂടാ രണ്ടാമതും വന്നിട്ടുണ്ട് അങ്ങനെ ഇരിക്കുകയാണ് അതുകൊണ്ട് അതുകൊണ്ടൊക്കെയാ അത് നല്ലതായിരുന്നു എന്തെങ്കിലും ഒരുപാട് നല്ല ആശയങ്ങളാണ് അതിങ്ങനെ കേൾക്കണം രാവിലെ എന്ന് വിചാരിച്ച് പറയുന്നതായിരുന്നു ഞാൻ ഒന്ന് രണ്ടെണ്ണം സുഭാഷിതം പറഞ്ഞത് ഞാൻ ഇല്ല ഉഷയ്ക്ക് ചേച്ചി given us a lot of uh, things to ponder about to uh, think about and understand and uh, as somebody mentioned we will go back and read some of those books and uh, the last lecture ennu parnitte randy posh nu parnir sarinde autobiography it's a beautiful book adu vaaikana the last the last lecture, lecture. ഗായത്രി എന്നോട് പറഞ്ഞു അമേരിക്കയിലൊക്കെ ഒരു ദേ ഹവ് എ കസ്റ്റം ഒരു പ്രൊഫസർക്ക് വേണമെങ്കിൽ റിട്ടയർ ചെയ്യുന്നതിന് തൊട്ട് മുമ്പ് ഹീ കെൻ ഇഫ് ഹി കാൻ ഇഫ് ഹി വോണ്ട്സ് അതിന്റെ പേരാണ് ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് ലെക്ചർ എന്ത് നല്ല ഐഡിയ ആണ് ആ ലാസ്റ്റ് ലെക്ചർ അദ്ദേഹം എഴുതിയിരിക്കുന്നത് ഈ റാൻഡി പോഷ് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഹിസ് എൻ എഞ്ചിനീയർ പക്ഷെ ലിവറിലും ലങ്സിലും എല്ലാം അയാൾക്ക് ക്യാൻസർ വന്നിട്ട് അയാളുടെ ഡേയ്സ് ആർ നമ്പേഡ് എന്ന് അറിഞ്ഞപ്പം ദ വേ ഹി സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് ലിവിങ് ലൈക്ക് എ റിച്ച് പേഴ്സൺ ഭാര്യയും കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളെയും എത്ര നാൾ നമ്മുടെ മേത്തേക്ക് കിട്ടുമോ അത്രയും നാൾ നിന്നിട്ട് ഈ ഓട്ടോബയോഗ്രാഫി എഴുതി തീരുമ്പം മൂന്ന് ദിവസം കഴിഞ്ഞ് അദ്ദേഹം മരിച്ചു ഇറ്റ്സ് എ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ ബുക്ക് ഞാനത് വെച്ചിരിക്കുന്നത് മലയാളത്തിലേക്ക് ഒന്ന് ട്രാൻസ്ലേറ്റ് ചെയ്യണം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞെടുത്ത് വെച്ചിരിക്കുക അപ്പൊ എല്ലാവരും മലയാളികളും വായിക്കുമല്ലോ നല്ല ബുക്ക് അതുപോലെ തന്നെ എല്ലാരും വായിക്കണം ഞാൻ ലിറ്റിൽ പ്രിൻസ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് ഒരു ഫ്രഞ്ചുകാരൻ എഴുതിയ ഒരു ബുക്ക് ഉണ്ട് നല്ല ബുക്ക് ഇംഗ്ലീഷിലാണ് ഇത് ഞാൻ ട്രാൻസ്ലേറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് മലയാളത്തിലേക്ക് ഞാൻ ഈ ലിറ്റിൽ പ്രിൻസിൽ നിന്ന് ഒരുപാട് കോട്ട് ചെയ്യും എന്റെ മകന്റെ കുഞ്ഞ് ഞാനിവിടെ കളിക്കുന്ന എങ്ങനെയാണ് അവൾ എന്നോട് ചോദിക്കും അമ്മ ഡു യു വോണ്ട് ടു ടൈം മീ ചോദിക്കും ഫോക്സ് ടൈം ചെയ്യുന്ന എങ്ങനെയാണ് പ്രിൻസിന് കാണിച്ചു കൊടുക്കുക എങ്ങനെ ഹൗ ഡു യു ബിക്കം ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് അവൾ എന്റെ അടുത്ത് വല്ല കുഴപ്പമൊക്കെ ചെയ്തിട്ട് പിണങ്ങി മാറിയിട്ട് അമ്മ ഡു യു വോണ്ട് ടു ടൈം മീ ചോദിക്കും അപ്പൊ ഞാൻ എങ്ങനെ ഹൗ ഡു യു ഡു ദാറ്റ് യു ജസ്റ്റ് ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് മീ വെൻ ആൻഡ് ഫീൽ ദാറ്റ് ഐ ഡോൺ ലുക്ക് യു ബാക്ക് എന്ന് പറയും അറിയാത്ത പോലെ നോക്കൂ എന്ന് പറയും ഞങ്ങൾ കളിക്കും സോ ഞങ്ങൾ രണ്ടിനും കൂടെ ഒത്തിരി പൊട്ടക്കളികൾ കളിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് ലിറ്റിൽ പ്രിൻസിനകത്തും നല്ല ബുക്ക ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ ബുക്ക് പിന്നെ അദ്ദേഹത്തിന്റെ പുസ്തകം കുറച്ച് ടഫാണെങ്കിലും സുകുമാർ അഴീക്കോടിന്റെ തത്വം മസി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ ബുക്ക് വായിച്ചാൽ സത്യത്തിൽ നമുക്ക് മനസ്സിലാകും നമ്മുടെ വിദ്യാഭ്യാസ നയങ്ങളും വിദ്യാഭ്യാസവും ഒക്കെ എത്ര നല്ലതായിരുന്നു അതിനെ മെക്കോളേജ് മിനിറ്റ്സ് കൊണ്ടുവന്ന് നശിപ്പിച്ചത് എങ്ങനെയാണ് പറയാനൊക്കെ ഇല്ല അന്ന് അങ്ങനെ ചെയ്യേണ്ട ആവശ്യം ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അവർക്ക് നമ്മളെ കോളനി ആക്കണമെന്നും എനിത്തിങ് ഫോറിൻ ഈസ് ഗുഡ് എന്ന് ഇന്ത്യക്കാർക്ക് തോന്നണമെന്ന് അങ്ങനെ എനിത്തിങ് നോട്ട് യുവേഴ്സ് അങ്ങനെ ഇറ്റ്സ് എ ഗുഡ് ബുക്ക് നല്ല ബുക്കാ തത്വമസി ഞാൻ വായിച്ചു പിന്നെ ഇത് ഇവിടെ കിട്ടുമെങ്കിൽ എങ്ങനെ വായിക്കണം മർദ്ദിതരുടെ ബോധനശാസ്ത്രം പോലോ ഫ്രയർ നന്നായിട്ട് എഴുതിയിട്ടുണ്ട് എന്റെ സാറിന്റെ മകനായി ഡോക്ടർ രവിശങ്കർ അച്യുത് ശങ്കറും രവിശങ്കറും എന്റെ സുകുമാരൻ നായർ സാർ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ എന്റെ എം എൽ എന്നെ പഠിപ്പിച്ച സാറിന്റെ രണ്ടു മക്കളാണ് മിടുക്കര് പിള്ളേർ ഒരുപാട് നല്ല പുസ്തകങ്ങൾ ഇടയ്ക്കൊക്കെ വായിക്കണം വാസ്തവത്തിൽ അത് മറ്റുള്ളവരോട് വായിക്കാനും പറയാം അതെ അതെ ദാറ്റ്സ് എ ഗുഡ് നൈറ്റ് യു ഐ എൻജോയ്ഡ് ദ സെഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് എ പ്രിവിലേജ് I'm so happy that you you all made me very happy a poor old woman
we hope uh, that keep uh, connected with uh, all india women's conference we will definitely be in touch with you and uh, would love to hear more of your lectures and uh, we have been told that you are uh, even a greater orator in malayalam so perhaps we will organize another webinar for all the kerala branches and uh, get you to talk to us again and okay. i thank all the members of awc and there are so many uh, non members who have joined today actually we had uh, good attendance today and i think that is thanks to your reputation as a good speaker that is why so many have joined today and okay. i thank all of you for uh, being present and for uh, sitting through the one and a half hours of uh, this webinar and uh, next month again we will be back and next month we hope to be there on the first saturday itself with the next okay. uh, lecture on uh, of the literary and cultural forum so okay. thank you so much and uh, uh, thanks to all my friends and uh, all non members who i hope will uh, join awc and make us stronger thank you so much seriously the precious mind good night thank you thank you thank you